It's your girl, Mrs. Cash, live and direct with another valuable video. For you, you did. <laughs> hey, stimulus check, nope, paycheck, nope, forex. Yeah. It's lit. Shout outs to Calvin, the new trader for the shirts. I will post these on Instagram so y'all be able to get them as well. Yeah. And today's video is how to uh, quit your job with forex. You feel me? How to get up out of there. You got yeah. to. And also, before we start this video, it's a bunch of fake Instagram pages, so mm -hmm. do not fall for the scams. I don't be on WhatsApp or none of that stuff. Check the description below for the legit stuff and let's get straight into the video. The Wealthy Empire Network. Yo, what's going on, family? So today, you know, like I said, I wanted to show y'all how to quit your job, how to live a dream life, how to get the house, the car, all out of your dreams in this video in great detail all right so this is a perfect video for y'all to have clicked on and for those of you who are ready to get up at your job so let's get straight into it we're going to talk about the one candlestick the nba strategy we're going to break down numbers and we're going to just visualize houses and do all that on this video so let's get straight into it y'all for real all right so with the one candlestick people keep asking me what lot sizes to use what account size should i have to be able to quit my job right and so i'm showing them uh things like this right so give me one second let me go over here and click on this all right so based off the results that i get and based off the other things that i see these are the account size so anywhere between on us 30 anyone but anywhere between a thousand dollars and 2500 using a lot size of 0.01 to 0.03 you're expected on the one candlestick like in literally like five to ten seconds uh it goes really quick um especially when you you know get up around like 9 30 and just start killing it as well uh with this lot size you're looking anywhere between four dollars and twelve dollars every like three to five seconds if not like 10 seconds literally right and um like i said as a disclaimer i can't guarantee you profits you know i gotta throw the disclaimers out there I, and I and there is a risk that you could, you know, blow your account with any any strategy, no matter who the, the Forex trader is, it's really up to you and your discipline. So let me just say that. Um, but from what I've seen, and I'm going to show you in the video in just a second, um, the profits. And so from, you know, four dollars and eighty five cents to twelve dollars and fifty cent, uh, you can expect, you know, uh, typically expect those numbers with US 30 uh depending on you know what you're looking to get so i would say by the hour guys by the hour if you're looking to make 40 50 60 70 100 dollars an hour uh it's very very possible right i see it all the time i do i do it all the time uh and matter of fact i'm gonna start showing you clips right now right now so i'm killing the one candlestick so far i did 430 today little count kot uh and so I'm just I'm just killing it as it's going down. I'm just getting in on positions as it's riding up. I'm just scalping the heck out the market. That's really just all it is. It's really all it is. I'm just waiting until the market shoots up in my favor and I'm just scalping the heck out of it. So really all of these that uh that go in is the ones that I'm and I already marked up where the market is going. So I already set my trend line on here. Uh, I set some support and resistance zones. Let's me know the market is gonna shoot up. And so that's why I got in on all these positions as it kept retracing. So at its lowest point, then I'll be good to go. All right, you don't panic. I'm trading in that direction of the trend on buy single day. You know what I'm saying? Boop, so we take that and we watch it. Okay, we got a couple more going to profit. I'll look at this one, I'll take that, okay. One candlestick all day, man. Oh my God. Ugh, did I get that one? 538, I think I got it. I lost like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I lost eight of them, which is fine. We still, we still doing that. We can't make this stuff up. You can't make it up. It's in your face, live and direct, what I told you. $600. Should we go for a thousand today? It's bro. Oh my God, look at this. So I take that. It's moving too slow. What is doing? I'm gonna take that three dollars, seven forty-five. What I say in profits though? What I say eight twenty-eight already? Can we get to a thousand dollars? Okay, guys. So as you can see, 
these are some of the results that you can do and this is how you can quit your job okay so like i said you can do an eight hour day right or you can only do a five hour day or a three hour day and just crunch the numbers but the the goal here is just to not be greedy set your goal for today okay set okay i want to make 200 dollars a day i want to make 300 dollars a day what does that look like so if we go over here let's go over here we're gonna look at the houses in a second we're gonna break all, all kind of stuff down but let's go over here and let's say uh let's just put 300 dollars per day is how much a year let's just say that all right so 300 dollars a day is seventy eight thousand dollars a year okay the average american household which is two people husband and wife the, the average household only brings in fifty thousand a year so you're already you would already be above that right that's 300 dollars a day guys so let's see uh 400 a day you're looking at a hundred and four thousand dollars a year with four hundred dollars a day that's about eight thousand six hundred and sixty six dollar or sixty seven dollars a month at just four hundred dollars a day right and as you can see in the video i was just doing those numbers like it's nothing right in the same hour that was all in like a span of one hour i did all of those numbers in the span of one hour that's ridiculous right and my day could have been done right there done and I could have came back the next day and did the same thing. It's all discipline. The people who lose are the people who overtrade and keep going and keep going trying to get rich. The goal is not to get rich. The goal is just to be able to make enough money for you to have your bills paid and still have money left over to travel and do whatever you want on your own terms. That's it. You ain't, I mean, multimillionaire status and all that is great, but for everybody, it's not going to happen. But, but everybody can get to six figures, though. You know, from six figures, then you can find out more stuff to scale it. All right, so let's see what five hundred dollars a day is. All right, so now I'm gonna have to do it. I'm gonna have to do it uh my way. So let me go to my calculator. So we just gonna get it in like this. Oh, it's right here. Matter of fact. All right, so five hundred. Let's say you trade what five days a week, killing on one candle. Let's do it. That's twenty five hundred for the what for the week. All right, so twenty five hundred times four. We're gonna do that. That's ten thousand a month. And you already know what that is. If you don't, whoa, 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 brother. All right, 10,000 a month times 12. We looking at $120,000 a year. That was the, that was our original goal before everything else popped off was, was $10,000 a month. All right, so that just lets me know at $500 a day, y'all, you doing $10,000 a month. That's not that hard with US 30. As you can see in the video, I just did, I just did that those kind of numbers you know what i'm saying and so it's possible for you and your family to to win there's no reason that we working people out here working nine to five jobs like and stressing like there's no reason in this generation why you should be stressed out of a nine to five job if your job is stressing you out you got to get up out of there because that's not your purpose you got to get to where your purpose is and that's financial freedom you know what i'm saying i hate having to get up and go to work why would i want to do that you know what i'm saying i ha i hated that literally i literally hated that like i woke up making nine dollars nine dollars an hour with a college degree come on y'all come on man we deserve better than that so this is uh even 15 dollars 20 dollars an hour still not enough like you can literally come in these markets and kill but if you stay structured and you stick to your plan you will eat i promise you right so if we do let's say for my people who want to do you know, sick. Now nah, let's just go to a thousand dollars because some people want to do a thousand dollars a day, and with US 30, that's definitely possible. I do it all the time. All right, so uh, let's times a thousand times five, right? That's five thousand dollars. All right, now we're talking five thousand dollars for the what for the week times four. That's gonna bring you to twenty thousand dollars a month. Come on, man. We gotta break these numbers down. That's twenty thousand dollars a month times twelve. We looking at what? Two hundred and forty thousand dollars a year trading forex, right? It's not a millionaire forex trader, but it's a high six figure earner, and that's where I'm at. I'm not a millionaire forex trader, but I'm a high six figure uh, forex trader. You know what I'm saying? Just doing the numbers that I do. So that's amazing. And now that we see how amazing that is, guys, you can see with these lot sizes where you could potentially be and how you could potentially quit your job based off of this, right? So $3,000 to 
to a five thousand dollar account at a lot size of 0.01 to 0.05 you set your goal on let's see three four five hundred dollars a day whatever your goal is right you hit that and you stop trading right you don't hit that and keep trading you hit it and you stop trading that's it all right so with these lot sizes uh, in this size account, you expect it to do anywhere between $4.85 to $25. And I'm talking like seconds, uh, maybe minutes, right? Depending on how the trade goes. But like I told you, if you trade with the trend, you good, you can hold, you good, all right? Um, if you got an account size between 10,000 or 20,000, you can expect to do lot sizes anywhere between, of course, the ones as well, just to be on the conservative side if that's you. But if you want to go a little more risky, completely up to you. Like I said, this is all up to y'all. Uh, 0.05 to 0 0.020 is what I see a lot of people do who's doing the one candlestick. Uh, and they get anywhere between $25 every three to five seconds. Because uh, it's quick. It's in and out. Especially if you do it right, it's really in and out. Uh, but it, sometimes you may have to hold. All right. So $25 up to $110 in minutes that's how you know my guy sam was able to do the 1000 to, to 23,000. and he said in, in like what one day he did 13,000 in a week he did like an extra whatever he said but you, you know what i'm saying but he was able to do those kind of numbers and and these are kind of some of the lot sizes he was using as well some of the lot sizes i used as well now anybody who goes any higher than that you can do that i've done it but like i said that's completely up to you i'm not pushing that on nobody uh, I'm always for risk management as far as new traders. Make sure you practice risk management, practice this stuff in the demo first, things like that, all right? But there's no reason, like I said, listen, there's no reason to go back to a nine to five that you hate if you could sit at your computer and literally, if I do a one, one of these lot sizes and I hit, you know, $15 out the gate, uh, another $10 out the gate, that's around like 30 something dollars in a matter of minutes, right? $30 in a matter of minutes and your job only pays you at $15 per hour, $20 per hour. And you made that in 15 minutes. Like, come on, there's no, I, I could not do that. I couldn't, I couldn't go back there. You know what I'm saying? I couldn't do it. Um, but now we're going to get into some stuff. Now, as far as the, the, uh, NBA strategy goes, right? Let's talk about the NBA strategy, right? Now this is my this is my baby. I love the one candlestick, and I, I love. I think out of these two, these are like a tie to me, but it really just depends. I think the candlestick will get you there a little faster. But as far as the NBA strategy and alerts, right? So the reason why people ask me, okay, at first I was doing like you know starting out smaller accounts. So I'm saying if I had an account like five hundred dollars, right? My lot size. I'm usually on the riskier side, but normally my lot size is I'm gonna say it was around 0.50 right um and now and i'm only looking for a certain amount of pips right so we know uh that you know 10 cent in the market is equivalent i mean 0 0.01 so i mean let me visit let me do that visually for y'all so y'all can see it uh 0 0.01 is equivalent to 10 cent in the market right that's equivalent to 10 cent all right so if i'm doing I mean, uh, if I'm doing, you know, uh, 0.50, right? That's equivalent to $5, right? 5.00, that's equivalent to $5, all right? And then uh, if I'm doing a standard lot, right? Which is a, a $1 lot. I'm gonna just say a $1 lot, 1.00. That's equivalent right to ten dollars that's equivalent to ten dollars so what i understood is okay how many um pips would i need to get to my goal to be able to quit my job right this is what i'm looking at so if i'm doing if i get an alert and i'm like okay i need a certain amount of pips well check this out right let's let's go to the calculator so let's say we got ten dollars times let's say the market on the nba strategy get alert and it only goes five pips times five that's that's fifty dollars right for one hour that's fifty dollars for one hour y'all just five pips at a at a dollar lot okay so what i understood okay i how much do i need to not have to to place multiple trades see at a standard lot 
okay and this is this is not for everybody because this is where i got to this is where i got to at first i was doing you know point 10 and stuff like that but now i understand okay if i only need five uh if i only need five pips to get fifty dollars that's that's nothing the market moves way more than five pips a day shoot uh gbp jpy usually move 100 pips a day so i'm like okay bet i only need five out of that hundred all right so this is what you can do and this is what i did i decided to raise my lot size and i decided to go low on the pips right so i know at 10 standards right 10 standards in the market is a hundred dollars a pip all right so now that same five turned into five hundred dollars in one hour y'all see how this works five hundred dollars for the hour right then i went to 12 standards which is 120 dollars per pip that same five pips turned into six hundred dollars so now one trade in the morning in 15 20 minutes off one alert turned into six hundred dollars and i'm done for the day all right now stick with me because we're gonna get into some stuff all right so check this out then i said okay the highest i want to go is 15 standards 15 standards in the market is equivalent to 150 dollars same five pips that gets me to 750 dollars for the day but then i took it a step further and i said okay i want to do a thousand dollars every single day what do i need to do so i kept the same 15 standards and then i said okay i calculated it 150 dollars which is 15 standards 150 dollars per pip and i times that right and 15 standards is just a 15 dollar lot size right so a $15 lot size is equivalent to $150 per pip, right? So $150 times seven pips gave me what? $1,050 per day. That's just seven pips. I'm not catching no, I don't have to catch a 20 pip move. I don't have to catch a 150 pip move. The only thing I got to do, right, is catch seven pips and I got a thousand dollars for the day. That's a thousand dollars for the day. So a thousand zero five zero, and I times that by five, right? That's for the week. That gave me fifty two fifty. All right. So five two five zero for the week times four. That gave me twenty one thousand a month. There we go. Twenty one thousand a month. Right. And then you times that by twelve because it's 12 months in a year, boom, that's $252,000 a year. So that's what I figured out. One trade in a day, one alert, one trade, $252,000 a year. And that's the power in Forex. And I keep it simple. I'm not out here over trading no more. You know, I don't have to. Now, like I said, with this, it's a little different than the one candlestick because it doesn't take as many trades, right? I only have to do one trade, I just had to raise the lot size, right? Um, or, like I said, you can calculate it. Now let's go, let's look at the chart. So, I can calculate it. Let's say, let me find, let me find on the NBA right quick. So you just pick your poison, I use both. I use the candlestick and I use the NBA all day long, right? So, all right, let's say boom, right here, okay? Hit the 25, and let's say I just throw Let's say I just threw five standards. Uh, let's say, let's just say the 25 is right here. Let's say I said it was going up right here and it didn't. So I threw five standards here. My account size is pretty nice now at this point because I've been either one candle sticking all the way up or whatever, right? I did five standards right here. It didn't go up right away. Drop down. I did another five here. It didn't go up all the way. I did my last one right here. That's still 15 standards. By the time the market shot up, I'm good. I hit my goal. So it's either like that. Either I do 15 standards once or I spread it out and I break it down. And you could do the same thing even with lower lots. Same thing, y'all. But now that we know how to break down these numbers and, and what pip count and all of that, it's the same thing, guys. So you take these and you run it up. But now let's get into the houses because now that you're going to start making money, you're going to want somewhere to live. You're going to want somewhere nice to live. You're going to want you a nice house. Let's say you already got your LLC. Like I told y'all, y'all go to inkfile.com to get your LLC. I already told y'all how to get y'all credit right and get it popping. Uh, all the information and stuff will be below as well. So now that you got that, you making money with Forex, right? What do we want to do? We want to we get us a nice crib because we deserve it. That's going to be our trophy, all right? 
So now we come over here and I'm just picking Texas because I know they got like good cost of living as well. Um, but let's just say you want you a nice house uh, and let's just go over here. Oh, I like this. Boom. All right. So peep this. This is nice. 699,000 in California. This would have been like 20 million. I ain't gonna lie to you <laughs> for real. All right. So look, $3,000 a month. Come on, man. We just showed on the trades. We just showed on the charts that you could potentially be making, you know, five, 10, 20,000 a month off, off basic strategies, not getting that much out the market, not, not taking too many crazy trades and doing all that, just in and out, in and out. We could do way past 3000 a month for the mortgage. That's child's play, right? That's child's play. Easy money. Okay. I just showed my boy went from a thousand to $23,000 in two weeks. You think he couldn't afford a mortgage payment? Stop playing with me. All right, look, <laughs> I'm hype, bro. I'm hype. I hope y'all watch this whole video. Check this out. All right, so look, now we want a house. Fire, look at this, boom. Stir, double staircase, lit. House, lit, okay. Boom, that's a dope entrance. Look at all that open space, open. Open concept with the islands. Dope, I like that. I know y'all feeling this, right? So look. We gonna break down these numbers, but I just want y'all to visualize y'all self in the kitchen, cooking, you know what I'm saying? Homegirls, homeboys over at the house. We chilling, we in vibing, you know what I'm saying? You did. So this is what it's looking like. You looking good. Got the little jacuzzi tub. Boom, nice rooms. Up, game room upstairs with the pool table. You got your workout room, nice backyard, boom. So now we gonna break down these numbers. All right, 699,000. That's what they want for the house. For those of you who never bought a house and for those of you who may be younger, you don't gotta pay the whole 699,000. When you are getting a house, especially as a first time home buyer, you get perks. And the perk is you only gotta pay 3.5% if you a first time home buyer. So let's just say this. This is what you will have to put down. What did it say the house was? Boom, I think, is that right? Let me make sure, let me make sure. Yep, that's right, boom. So you only gotta pay 3%. All right, that's $20,000 that you gotta put down. $20,000 that you gotta put down. Do you hear what I just said? $20,000 that you gotta put down to be able to move into the house. Now, I showed you in the previous video, my boy Sam went from 1,000 to what? 23,000 in two weeks. So in two weeks, he got that down payment for this house. Ain't that wild? Two weeks, he got the down payment for this house, right? Now at 3%, your mortgage payment will be a little higher, but that's still $4,000. $4,000, I just showed you, based off of this, right? Your account size, what you could do, right? In a week's time, that mortgage payment could be paid trading Forex. In a week's time, in a day's time, that mortgage payment could be done. The rest of the money could just be play play. You know what I'm saying? And though, that's how you break this down. Right, but let's say you already got a house and you already own a home and you're not a first time home buyer. Okay, you could put down 10%. That's 69,000, right? How many months of trading is that? That could be like two or three months worth of trading or it might be five or six months, but that's still great. That's your down payment, done, done data, right? And some of you who may want to throw down more, uh, let's say you want to throw 20% down. That's 139,000, but that's later on in the future whenever you can get, you know, get to those numbers on just down payment wise. But I just basically showed you how you can get a house at, at any point in your life. 3%, right? You're looking to pay like $20,000 for the down payment. Do you got closing costs? And, and most of the time, a lot of people, if they want you to move in, they usually handle the closing costs for you. You know what I'm saying? That's that's just game, free game, right? I mean, houses everywhere. Look at this. We can, we can keep going, we can keep going. I mean, they got so many. This one got a balcony in the front. Look at that. A balcony in the front of the house so you can greet the visitors like what's up with it you just pulled up what's up <laughs> you know what I'm saying? all right look so this one is 649 got the nice staircase boom that office is dope oh coffered ceilings yeah yeah sound like i know what i'm talking about huh i'll be looking at these houses all day y'all ain't gonna lie to you but yeah this house nice five bedroom five bath imagine right look at that oh it's open you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna be up there at the top, like, what's up? Greeting all my people that's coming in. Boom. I like that kitchen. That's nice. Right? This is tight. I like this house. I like it. It's nice and bright. You know what I'm saying? Got the, uh, okay. Yeah. So look, 
closet nice and fat for you ladies. Some of y'all said ain't big enough for y'all. Y'all need something way bigger. But, but guess what though, it's all good. But peeps, so look, the price on this one, look at the mortgage payment, 3,500. All right, bet, that's child's play. That's how we look at it, that's how we talk now. It's child's play, it ain't that much. Even if it is that much to you right now, just call it child's play and say you got it. it just keep telling yourself that and you'll believe it eventually, you know what I'm saying? All right, boom. So I think same same rules apply. I think so. This one nineteen thousand down, kind of still close. But let's say you don't want a house that's three hundred thousand. I mean six hundred thousand. You know what I'm saying? I'm just showing you the power in it and what can be done. Let's just say let's go down to let's say you just want something like. But depending on where y'all live, it's gonna be way different because you know Florida y'all got y'all y'all three hundred thousand dollar houses in the ghetto and same way as California. So but in these lower cost of living areas, you know what I'm saying Atlanta. You know, Oklahoma, Dallas, Texas, Kansas, stuff like that, little places like that, uh, you're gonna be able to get you something nice for the low. You feel me? So boom. All right, let's just take this house right here. Boom. All right, so this house, 389,000. So we're gonna copy that. We're gonna copy this. And I'm showing you, I'm breaking this down to y'all because I need y'all to visually see ourselves living like this. So that way, you ain't gotta be renting no more. You can get you a mortgage, you know what I'm saying, all that. You just gotta make sure all your ducks is in a row. All right, so you gotta show some history whenever you're doing this kind of stuff uh, as far as your business and all that. So you gotta kill these markets. Be conservative, don't be in there being greedy and, and just take your bread. Forget what all these other Forex traders is doing. I know they doing, you know, $50,000 days, $150,000 days, but you will get there over time. You know what I'm saying? Don't rush that. Just get your get yourself out your job first. That's the first goal. Just get up out of there and then all the other stuff will happen later. All right, so let's throw this in the calculator. Boom. Oh, that's child's play. Stop playing with me. Eleven thousand dollars to move in there. Wait, 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 wait. A six bedroom, four bathroom, forty three hundred square feet, and all you got to put down if you're a first time home buyer is eleven thousand. Stop it. Stop it. You hear what I'm saying? A mortgage payment twenty four hundred a month. Child's play. That's that's easy. We could do that all day. Even if you put down ten percent, that's only thirty eight thousand. You moving right in there. You and your family. You know what I'm saying? You ain't gotta live in no apartment no more. You see what I'm saying? Easy. And we can do that in the Forex market, easy. You just, like I said, you saw Sam grow from $1,000 to 23,000, man. Come on, I'm showing you what's possible out here in these streets. All right, so we can get y'all up at y'all situations. Even 20% down is only 77,000. I say only, cause it's only, you feel me? That's how you gotta talk. You gotta talk like that, positive affirmations. But look, so that's the power in Forex. Like, and what you could do. I already showed y'all, like I said, get y'all credit right. Get your credit up. You know what I'm saying? Get it cleaned. If you need help with that, I got all that in the description below. Start your LLC if you haven't. And whenever you start making these Forex profits, start withdrawing them. Because some of y'all do not be withdrawing y'all profits and y'all be losing it. Withdraw it. See how it feel to actually make money in the market and withdraw it to yourself. Even if it's $20. Get that money and, and, and treat yourself to something nice or just stack it all up. I'm going to do another video about investing and how to like really stack and double and triple y'all money. I'm going to make another video about that. But this video was pretty much just showing y'all right here with the one candlestick and with the NBA strategy what's possible. Right now, like I said, if you do this, set a goal and stick to that goal and stick to that plan. I know you like watching everybody else that's eating and doing crazy 30, 40, $50,000 days and stuff like that. But you will get there over time, but just get yourself in a position to where you can win. You know what I'm saying? Get yourself to a position where you ain't gotta go up, wake up and go to that warehouse job no more. You ain't gotta wake up and go to that lowest job no more. You ain't gotta wake up and, and do her all day. You ain't gotta wake up and cut her all day or none of that. Like you can just sit at the crib and make this bread and then take clients as you feel like it. You know what I'm saying? Instead of being subject to having to do it to pay your bills. You feel me? So that's what it is, man. Hopefully this video is a blessing to y'all, man. I love y'all. I want to see y'all win. Holla at your boy. Let's get this money, man. Stop playing with me. I'm out.